So a common um, issue that I've come across recently with a few clients is we have their, well, setting up their VPN for their, uh, for their staff to uh, re work remotely. Uh, and what we found was um, sometimes when, maybe in about 20, 30% of cases when connecting to the VPN, this is in cases using um, the built-in Windows uh, VPN uh, using IPsec with the pre-shared key in this case. Uh, we found that when connecting to a VPN, their local, like their internet would disconnect on their local PC. So they could utilize and access resources um, from their office, but they, they couldn't use the internet. Um, there was no technical profile that we could necessarily kind of pinpoint those issues to. They just started to happen randomly. So here are a few things that I implemented that worked successfully. And uh, hopefully if you're facing this same issue, one of these solutions will um, will rectify it for you. So we saw this a lot more often in uh, people who were using a Wi-Fi connection uh, to their router as opposed to a wired connection. A wired connection, sorry. However, it may actually happen with both. Um, now, in this example, I'm obviously using a, a demo computer, so we're using a wired connection. So it is actually working correctly in this case, but I'll be able to still show you the steps that we took. Um, in order to, to try and rectify the issues. So basically what we would have is, um, if you can imagine this was a Wi-Fi connection, we would have had the VPN connected and then we would have the Wi-Fi saying uh, no internet. And that would be the case. Uh, the user wouldn't be able to go on Google or you know, pretty much have use any internet um, on their computer. So the first thing that I found that worked in about 90% of cases were to perform Windows updates. If you've set it up through the Windows built-in VPN uh, using IPsec um, as opposed to say OpenVPN or one of the more open source um, solutions, you may find, I think you will find in a lot of the cases, could be a problem with a, an old Windows uh, update version or an old Windows patch that's conflicting with it. Uh, and we found that about 90% of the people that were f having issues uh, simply by doing all of their Windows updates and then performing a restart of the PC fixed the issue. So um, pressing the start button and just typing in Windows updates and just check for updates. So if there's anything here outstanding, install it, uh, download, install, and uh, restart the PC when it prompts you to do so. Once you've got all the updates, it should say uh, everything's up to date. Uh, in 90% of cases, uh, that should solve your problem. Reconnect back to the VPN uh, and you should have internet access uh, and VPN access. If the Windows update uh, didn't work and you're still having issues getting internet access while being connected to the Windows VPN, the second thing you can try is actually to check the what type of tunnel method that you have. So VPNs generally have two types of, of options to be run in, uh, full tunnel mode and a split tunnel mode. So full tunnel mode, uh, meaning that every, all, everything's going through the VPN tunnel, uh, including the internet connection. So you'd be using the internet of the remote computer uh, that you're tunneling through to. Um, so if that computer that or, or your work computer that you're tunneling to doesn't have an internet connection, you may be finding issues connecting and, and accessing um, the web. Um, the second uh, option is split tunneling. So split tunneling is basically um, allowing, allowing yourself to still access all of the um, elements of your remote computer via the VPN tunnel, but you're accessing the web using your uh, default gateway, so using your router. Uh, and therefore using your internet connection. So you're kind of splitting the two. Um, generally with the Windows built-in uh, VPNs, the default is set to uh, full tunnel. So we can take a look at that and change it to split tunnel and see if that uh, makes any difference. So there's a few ways we can check that. We can do that using PowerShell if you like to, to run on the command prompt. Uh, with PowerShell, click start. Type in uh, PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, and you'll have to run that as admin. And what we're going to type here is get 
VPN connection just to get a few details about our connection and see how it's set up. Now you'll see that the split tunneling option is set to false. Uh, so what we're gonna do is change that to true and we'll see how we go. So in order to set your split tunneling to true, we're going to type in the uh, following command set, oops, that's not it, set dash VPN connection name. Now your name is your VPN name up here. In this case is example VPN in quotations split tunneling I always forget how to spell tunneling but there you go and we're gonna do true uh, now remember you'll have to be as uh, an admin to for this one so click enter okay sorry I clicked it, it pressed it a few times there but let's see if it actually works so we'll type in get VPN connection again and we'll see that split tunneling is set to true after you've done that, you just want to disconnect from the VPN and connect again. So just refresh that by going disconnect and then reconnect. Now, if you want to check that that uh, split tunneling uh, true that you set is actually in effect, uh, there's a simple way to do that. And that's using the command shell and running a trace route. So the command trace RT and then perhaps typing in google.com. You'll be able to then see the hops that the connection tapes, uh, takes to get to Google, um, and you'll be able to see that it shouldn't go through the VPN to get there. Um, if you then set your uh, split tunneling back to false as it was originally, and then run another trace route, you'll see that the connection goes through the VPN. However, generally, as long as you uh, disconnect and reconnect from the VPN after changing the split tunneling uh, option, you should be good to go from there. Check your internet connection, check if it's working. If all good, great. Now, if you don't have access to PowerShell for whatever reason, there is another way to set your split, uh, split tunneling to true. And what you would do is click the Windows uh, button, type run, enter. We're gonna run ncpa.cpl, ncpa.cpl. And we'll just jump on the example VPN, right click it, select properties, select networking, select IP version 4, select properties, and select advanced. And you'll see at the moment, use default gateway on remote network is unticked. That's because we've enabled split tunneling. If it was base, if it if it was a full tunnel like default, that would be ticked. So all you need to do is untick that, cl uh, click OK, and that's the, essentially the same as uh, changing the split tunneling option in the PowerShell um, in PowerShell like, as we did before. If for some reason you don't have access to PowerShell, you can do it um, that way using the Windows GUI. The last option uh, that you can try is something that actually did work on a few on a few PCs. Um, it's basically regarding the RSC um, component, which is, uh, look, basically RSC um, handles data packets. So it, long story short, it, it combines data packets into, into small chunks rather than processing data packets one by one. Sometimes we notice that it can have issues when connected to a VPN, uh, which could be because the VPN obviously encrypts the data packets and the RSC can sometimes have trouble combining them correctly because it might not understand the encrypted data or, or how to, to interpret that data. Um, so in rarer cases, we did find that disabling the network RSC actually gave us the internet connection back so that the user could be uh, on the internet and connected to the VPN at the same time. So we're going to open up a trusty PowerShell session as administrator. And we're going to get our net adapter name. So get, uh, get net adapter. And that should list all of your uh, network adapters. In this case, uh, we don't, I'm using a virtual uh, system. So we don't have a wireless connection. We've just got the uh, Ethernet connection, but in yours you will probably see if you are connected to the Wi-Fi, you will probably see one underneath here 
uh, with it's probably going to say Wi-Fi like this. Um, but the main point is whatever the name is for that one, just grab that, copy and paste um, as we're going to be using it in our uh, next command. So to see if RSC is actually enabled first on the adapter, we're going to type get net adapter RSC. Okay. Now in my case, I don't get any results, but in your case, if you are using wireless, you should see that it is enabled and we're going to disable that. And the command to disable it is disable net adapter RSC dash name and in quotations the name you got uh, from the get net adapter command. So it'd be something like, and I know in our cases it was something like this Wi Fi, that was the name. Press enter and that's going to disable uh, the RSC uh, function. Now simply then disconnect from the VPN and reconnect and see how you go. Hopefully one of those options worked for you. I mean, I know I spent days scouring over the internet to try and find a solution to this. We just had no idea why it was happening, happening on some PCs and not happening on others, even though they all had the same uh, setup. Um, we found Windows updates helped in 90% of cases and the remaining 10% we found the disabling of the RSC on a network adapter and um, checking the split tunneling values uh, worked in the other 10% of cases. So, so hopefully you got everything back uh, running the way you intend it to be. Thanks for watching.